Here we're going to tie a seducer fly. First thing we're going to do is just get our thread started. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in some polar fiber. The color we're going to be tying here is kind of a shrimpy color or tan. A little bit different than the original seducer. I think some of the originals were red and white. I actually use these for redfish and I like them to be a shrimp. So we want this tail to be about twice the length of the shank of the hook, so I just roughly measure it out. We're going to tie this pseudo hair or polar fiber, it's both the same stuff, right on top of the shank of the hook. Just clean it all up. And what you can do before you progress is just take a marker and just bar the tail sections of the fly. I usually do three or four bars. You can use other color markers. Some people like to use black. I've used orange with good success. But brown always seems to work really well. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a hint of copper flash. I'm just going to tie this in along the side of the hook on each side. And trim it to the length of the tail. The next thing to do is to tie in the hackle. For this I just use a brown or a grizzly colored hackle. We're going to take our thread forward all the way up to the eye. Next thing to do is to take that hackle and just wrap it around the fly. You can use a pair of hackle pliers if you need to to, to finish it. And you can capture the tips of the hackle. Trim out the tips. Now you're ready to tie in the weed guard. It's actually easiest to invert the fly for this step. I'm going to tie in a piece of 20 pound mono onto the side of the hook. nice tight wraps to keep it in place. And I'm actually going to take that piece of mono, fold it over to the other side, do the same exact thing. And I'll wrap back up onto this mono to secure it. Kind of have to force it to go where you want it to go. And what I'm going to do is peel the mono forward. I'll just trim a little bit of it out so it doesn't get in my way. Force it forward and you're going to lay down some wraps right behind it. It's going to help stand those weed guards up. And then you can whip finish. Trim the weed guards just behind the hook point. Then to finish it, I'll just super glue the head of the fly. That'll keep the weed guards in place and also keep it from falling apart. That's all there is to a redfish seducer. Also works for snook, bonefish, tied a little smaller for bonefish. Very simple, 
effective and easy fly to tie.